And in that three-hour conversation, I was never told what the accusations were, I mean, what the accusations were, who the accusers were. I was never allowed to provide any data or evidence to debunk anything that perhaps I could have debunked if I had known what we were talking about anyway, but they wouldn't allow me to present any evidence, and they, frankly, didn't give me due process. Tavis Smiley told us on the show yesterday that his career has been unjustifiably ruined by anonymous and unproven allegations. He's not the only one who feels his reputation has been destroyed in this moment. This 2013 photo from TMZ shows pop star Taylor Swift with a radio show host called David Mueller. Swift accused Mueller of groping her in the picture. He was fired almost immediately. And this month, Taylor Swift was on the cover of Time magazine as a so-called silence breaker. Mueller says he was never given a chance to defend himself before he was canned and destroyed. David Mueller joins us now. David, thanks for coming on. Good evening, Tucker. Thanks for having me on. Good evening. So we, we have the picture. It looks like you're guilty. What about this are we misreading? Well, I've always said the picture was awkward. I wasn't ready. Um, my girlfriend was talking to Taylor just prior to the photo being snapped, and I was several feet away. I yes. tried to slide into the photo as best as I could, and, and that was a result. But my hand was never under her skirt. I never grabbed her, and my hand wasn't even open. Huh. So did she say anything to you at the moment? No. Nobody did, Tucker. So she didn't whip around and Not say, even... get your hands off me or anything like that? No, and her bodyguard was right there, five feet away, and he didn't do anything. And your girlfriend was, of course, there, too. She's in the picture as well. So when did you That's first right. learn she was accusing you of touching her? We left the backstage area. I left the arena. A half an hour later, we were on the main floor, and I was approached by a large British bodyguard, <laughs> and he wanted to talk to me. And that was when I found out that I was being accused. What did he say? He said, uh, do you want to tell me what happened earlier? And I said, I'd love to. I don't know what you're talking about. And then he proceeded to uh, tell me that uh, I grabbed Taylor Swift's rear end. And I said, I, I did not. I didn't grab anybody. And then I asked for the police. I asked him to get my boss, my direct supervisor from the radio station. I knew he was there. And um, my girlfriend tried to interject because she was in the photo tent. And they told her to be quiet. Um, next thing you know, we got thrown out. We were told we'd never be allowed at a Taylor Swift concert for life. It was a lifetime ban, and we were on the curb. I never got to talk to my boss or the Denver Police Department. But you asked for your boss and the police right then and there. So what, um, what happened next? I asked next? for the police several... I, well, I huh. asked for the police several times, and um, the next day, I, I had to go in and talk to my bosses at the radio station, KYGO. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a talent agent. I contacted my talent agent. I talked to my girlfriend's family because they were really the only people I was close to in Denver at the time. And um, I, I, I went in and talked to my bosses, and I told them I didn't do anything. And, that, and they said, well, why would she say that? And I said, yeah. I don't know. Ask her. Well, do you, uh, I, so I do you tell... know? So you, you were fired. She has become... Uh, a, a kind of living symbol of the resistance to boorish behavior like this as a survivor. Um, you say it's all made up. Why would she make it up? That's a good question. Um, I, I, I could, the short answer is a business decision. You know, that my boss has never talked to Taylor Swift or anyone else who was in the photo tent other than my girlfriend and me. And my girlfriend and I told my bosses at KYGO nothing happened. And they talked to one person from her group, from Team Taylor. Yeah. They never talked to Taylor. The only, the first time I heard that Taylor Swift actually was accusing me was when she filed a counterclaim to my lawsuit. I, mm. I, that, that's the first time. I, I didn't even know that she had said it because when I was there, you would think she would have slapped me or said, dude, get your hand off me. She never said a word to me. I had no idea there was a problem. Because it how, wasn't a problem. How has this affected your life? Well, the biggest thing it's done to me is put me in a position where I have to prove that I'm innocent, which yeah. is almost impossible. But I've done the best I can. I've, I sat down for two independent polygraphs. I passed them both. 
I'm willing to do another one. I've uh, talked to all my friends in radio. I've tried to, to recover from this career-wise. And so far, I, I don't have many promising leads. I've got, I have a chance to get back in radio. I won't be at the level I was at. Um, I don't have a girlfriend. Uh, my girlfriend stayed with me for a while, but it was hard. Um, and when she knew that I was going to file a lawsuit, she, you know, that was a bit much for her to handle. Um, but I didn't have any recourse. I had to. Because yeah. I, I asked them to give me something in writing saying there was a misunderstanding. And there was nothing else I could do. I had to file a lawsuit. Wow. Well, I don't, you know, I don't know anything other than what you've just told us, but it's clear that your life has been basically destroyed by this. So we'll let our, I'll let our in, uh, viewers in a sense. judge for themselves. David, thank you for coming on. Thank you, Tucker.